Altamira CX, which is our cyclocross series. Uh, we have the Altamira CX, which is our carbon version, and the cross series, which is our aluminum cyclocross version. This is, happens to be the same frame that Jonathan Page races on. This is Altamira CX 1.1. Uh, which has our C10 carbon frame, which is our top level carbon, has a full carbon fork, and you'll notice the addition of disc brakes over the past couple of years. This one has hydraulic discs from SRAM. Uh, this is a SRAM red. The reservoir is here in the brake lever. It still has 22 speeds or 11 speeds in the back, so you get excellent, excellent shifting precision and you have the hydraulic stopping power or modulation. Our previous Altamira CX, which had cantilever brakes on it, had excellent mud clearance, and the design of this platform was based on that, so we retained the excellent mud clearance that that bike had, and you gain extra mud clearance because you remove the cantilevers from up here, which collect mud, and on the fork also, the cantilevers on the fork would collect mud, so you have even better mud clearance than you do than you did with the previous version. The Altamira CX has a BB86 bottom bracket system, which is a press fit system that moves the bearings further outboard, so it gives the uh, axle for the for the bottom bracket or for the crank set excellent support because you're moving those bearings out further. The Altamira CX also comes equipped race ready with tubulars, the Challenge Griffos carbon deep dish wheels so that they shed mud and they kind of steer in mud. You know, this chassis, the geometry that we've developed over the years with the help of Jonathan Page uh, for the next generation, you've got a bike that could win any of the races in Europe or in USA. It's an excellent uh, competition platform. Mm -hmm.